back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're back with another box from Lindsay Sellers. Yes, the wonderful Lindsay Sellers sent us some awesome stuff so far and we can't wait to see what else is in yeah, this box. I am so excited for this box, mainly due to these nerds in the front. I have to say I'm more excited about the savoury stuff, like those Cheetos look Yeah, great. they do look amazing. Mm. Yes, yeah, so this is from the lovely Lindsay, Adam, Chase and Peyton. So thank you so much, guys. We will be sending them a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try one of our boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and if like us, you like trying food from around the world, this is a great opportunity for you to try British goodies, but yeah. also help support the channel. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, thanks guys for this. Lindsay's given us some notes. So should we just crack in? Do I even need to ask what we're starting? with yes the garden veggie puffs oh i didn't think you were gonna go for them first I but think they good look idea really good. i think they look amazing is this brand called sensible, sensible portions? portions i think so isn't that cute i want to start a brand that's um called unsensible don't eat too much unsensible portions eat your veggies yeah and these are garden veggie puffs sour cream Ooh, and onions like let's see if she says anything 30 percent less fat than something else than the leading puff snack Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Puffs are poppable snacks with a delicious taste the whole family can enjoy, even the kids at heart. Mm. Baked, never fried, and with 30% less fat than the leading puff snack, you can now cure your crunchy craving anytime. I feel like that's quite a big difference, isn't it? Mm. And you know what? I like that it's a puff. I feel like you can't always, you can never really go wrong with it. Lindsay says, I'm not sure how new these are, but in my quest to eat healthier, but still get to snack, I've recently discovered them. The few flavors I've had are these and barbecue. Found these to taste much better, but I can't lie, still would prefer actual potato chips over these. Ha <laughs> ha. These smell amazing. And let me see them. They look amazing too. This bag is 60 calories per serving and it's Ooh, the whole bag. Not bad That's at amazing, all. isn't it? I like how they look. They smell great. <laughs> Oh, mm. They're packed with so much flavour. They're powerful. Mm. Mm. Wow. If you hadn't have showed me the packaging, I wouldn't have thought these were low cows. I do, because we've got that really light crunch. I think that's where... Yeah, but we've had that from like Japan. When they've got like more crunch, I think they're more fried or more something. And it gives them more crunch, whereas this is more about the flavour, a very soft puff, isn't it? These reminded me of the ones from Japan that were like mm. mini potatoes. Remember? These are phenomenal. I love the texture so much. They're so soft. You could suck on them and then still be mm. a bit... Oh, they've got so much flavour, haven't they? They're packed to a punch. Mm. That is what I hope from sour cream and onion. Mm. I'm literally giving them a 10 out of 10. Puff, out of 10. puff crisps are one of my favourite type of crisps. Really? I know, Lindsay, you say you'd prefer a natural potato chip, but sometimes I would go puff over crisp. Which I is, know some people think. Which crisp. is like, generally, I would go crisp over puff but you are very, you, I'm very you gravitate puffed. towards like a Cheeto or something. Yeah, like or like that, a what's you? it in the UK or like a quote. Right, mm. they were amazing, what a great start. These are really exciting. Mexican street corn. So it's different to just like corn on the cob here. Yeah. And haven't we even oh, had something before? Could this be like a lote? It could be. Because that is corn on the cob and it has like a special like yeah. seasoning. Yeah. And here it's like a corn on the cob with seasoning. Mm. But I have seen this Mexican street corn where they put in a pot sweet corn, mm. you tip out the middle, you put spices and seasonings and then like this squirt stuff on and mix it. So it looks amazing. Tangy, spicy and Oh, cheesy. that's probably what I thought spicy mm. then. <laughs> but I feel like it, it's not going to be crazy. I think because a lot of the time when we get stuff from Mexico it is spicy. So. Yeah. Oh, they're much smaller than I thought. Mexican street corn Cheetos. I'm not sure if these are new, but I haven't seen this flavor before and we haven't tried them yet. Thought they sounded interesting and hopefully taste good. Mexican street corn seems to be growing in popularity. I feel like that as well. And I've been seeing a lot of ready-made dips and other snacks with this flavor. And what did I say? What? All the elote flavors. Hey, <laughs> well done, Al. Well, the great thing was I was in Liverpool with mum seeing some of our family and we went out to a Mexican restaurant and they had the elote corn on the cob. It was so good. I like that really these are amazing. the um, the crunchy ones. Yeah. I wonder who decided what goes crunchy, what goes puff. Mm. Go Cheetos for bringing mm. out different flavors. It does have that elote flavor. Mm. It almost what? tastes more like um, a tortilla in a way. Mm. Oh, fuck it. Not too spicy. That is lovely. And mm. so different. I've literally never tasted a Cheeto like it. No. And that's good because I feel like Cheetos is kind of sometimes stuck to the same yeah. stuff. 
And I love that. And a limey, tangy mm. flavour you get. But not too much lime, because you don't like limey, no. limey crisps. Really, this really is good. just like the perfect balance with the kind of spice flavour. Uh -huh. I mm. feel like if you like the alote seasoning, you'll be really pleased with that, because mm. they do have the seasoning to a tea there, don't they? Mm. Tastes really, really good. Really good. It's not necessarily um, a flavour I would pick first, but I like that they are offering different flavours and not just like yeah. the cheese. Well, because usually Cheetos, even though they come in different shapes and stuff, a lot of the time it is just, just cheese, cheese, isn't it? Yeah. So I think that's awesome. Really good. What are you giving those out of 10? I think I might have to give it a 10. Really? I really like them. The combination of the nice tight crunch and yep. the um, your lote flavour. Yeah, yeah. Really love them. I'll probably give them an 8. They're mm. really delicious. It's just I would rather the normal cheese. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. Last savoury snack. Yeah. Do you want to read them? The golden fish, or goldfish is their name. <laughs> These are megabytes sharp cheddar. We haven't had goldfish for a while, have we? A long time. I feel like in the early days, we used to get a lot of goldfish. Yeah, loads. And then not so much anymore. But look, these say new on them. So are these going to be big and crispy? Mm. Or is this like a mega pint? You can have this with your mega pint. Yes! So you can mega have goldfish. mega goldfish with your mega pint. And it is, it looks about twice the size. If not three or four times the size, don't you think? Yeah. By volume, yeah, I was kind of meaning height. But. Oh, right, yeah. If you haven't watched uh, Lindsay's other video, well, actually, Lindsay sent us a video, box like two, mm. three years ago, was it? Um, she sent us so many brand new items, so we'll leave that linked up there as well. And I'm not sure if they're mega because they're big in size or if they have a strong cheddar flavour as well. Mm. I'm going to say both. I think both. Well, I'm hoping. Can I get your hand in there? It's funny, though, because they are bigger, but I would say they're kind of flatter. I would say they're the same flatness, yeah. but because they're bigger, they seem flatter. But in some ways, it, I thought they were also going to be... Mm. Like more 3 day. Mm. I forget how salty they are. Yeah. Just the cheddar. They are sharp cheddar. Like, I'm normally more of a fan of this kind of thing. I love like a really savoury, dry kind of cracker. Our equivalent to the UK is mini cheddars, mm. and you love them. Mm. I don't, unless they're the Red Leicester flavour. I love this kind of thing with like beer or... Yeah. Like a nice refreshing mm. drink, especially on like a holiday yeah. nibbles. Do you know what? These are really nice. It's just the sharp cheddar is a bit too strong for me, but I really love the crunch and the salt. Oh, I like it. Really like cuts through. I think it tastes like that burnt cheese is what I was talking mm. about on holiday. Anyone who loves cheese twists, mini cheddars, things like that, you'll love these. Mm. I wonder. Think. They'll do megabytes with the, the dessert type ones. That would be fun. We're on to the sweet stuff, but there's a connection. Oh, yeah. What's that? Shall we have this Reese's cup, which is Reese's Ooh. Potato Chips Big Cup? I like the sound of that. I heard about this, whether it was through our comments, DMs, or just online. I heard about the, the potato chip yeah. ones. I am a firm believer of like a salted chip with chocolate. It's just so good. I just wonder it's like how having peanut... fries in your milkshake. Yeah, delicious. I just wonder how peanut butter will play in this. We have had chocolate covered crisps sent to us before, but what I love is the idea of peanut butter involved. Don't they look like crinkle cut as well? They do, yeah. I wonder who they got them from. Oh yeah, who are the chips? Mm. Reese's with potato chips. I don't think this is new, but I've never seen it in our store until recently. Haven't tried it yet, and we'll be interested to see what you think. It might not be new, but it's new to us. Yeah, and that's the main thing. Ooh, look how deep it is. That is a cute cup. I don't sure we get into this bag. Yeah. The crunch. <laughs> is it what you expected? Better? Worse? I'm excited for this because I'm more of a peanut butter fan now. I thought there was going to be more bigger chunks of crisp. It's almost like you can't tell they're crisps. Mm. But what is amazing about it is it adds a crunch and it adds a real saltiness. Mm. You, know, you could just add salt and you could just add some kind of crunch. But why not put potato chips in? It might sell better. I love how much is in there. Loads. Uh-huh. Mm. That's phenomenal. Relic, I'd like you to wrap this up and enjoy it after your bike ride. I would like you to have it. No, I'd like you to have this it. This is really weird. I know, but I've got chocolate <laughs> on my fingers. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I take that honour and I shall bestow it upon myself after the bike ride. Often you guys ask, what things would we get again? Mm. That's one of them. Really? Yeah. 
I didn't expect that from you, even with the potato chips in it. That's literally one of the best Reese's peanut items I've ever, Reese's pieces, Reese's thing I've ever mm. tried. Because <laughs> the thing is, they've had the pieces, we've had like the nutrageous bars with all the different stuff in. Yep. But in a way that's more simple and I think it's actually better than some yep. of those things. It's absolutely amazing. It's salty, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's chocolatey, it's smooth, crunchy, delicious. Oh. I always said my favourite was Reese's Cup with Pieces. Mm. I think that's going number one, then Pieces. Because of the saltiness Ooh. and the crunch. Because in the Pieces, that's what I love, the crunch. And there's also a little bit of saltiness with the Pieces, but not massive. That adds so much more yeah, saltiness. Yeah, because a Reese's Cup is quite salty. Yeah. And is it Reese's that's quite dry or not? Yeah. Whereas I don't that taste dry yeah, in that, and I think that's dry. why I like it. And I think mm. that's why I like the Pieces, because you can't just taste dry. Whereas a cup is just dry. Oh, what are you giving that out of 10? I'm going to give that a 12 out of 10. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say 25 again, but I'll go 12 out of I 10. Just, we I can't don't think use them quite, all the time. We can't. I, it's not quite 25. 25 is like blowing my socks off. I love that. It's really good, but it hasn't quite blown Okay, 12 off. out of 10 for me too. Do you like to pick next? Um, I'm loving this box. This is a great box. But just when I thought Lindsay's last box couldn't be topped, I oh, think. No. Should we go for um, these fudge... Stripes. Yes. Now we've had an array of fudge stripes before, mm. but I don't believe we've had these. And also we've had an array of little um, pops. Like dipped pots yeah. things. The last ones we had, weren't they Betty Crocker? Okay. So I wonder if these all have the same parent company or whether it's just that this is a well-performing snack. Both Chase and Peyton love these. I love the cookies, but the dip doesn't take like marshmallow to me. And as a mum, I hate how runny the dip is because it's such a mess to clean up. They only get them now on special occasions or as special treats. Ooh, well, I feel lucky that we've got one. And this is, oh, it is. It's runny. Like, it's a nightmare. No, but it's also sticky, it looks sticky, like. Yeah. So if you've got it on furniture. Mm. Good. I understand what she means, like it doesn't necessarily... It tastes like a marshmallow. You what? It doesn't taste marshmallow. No, but there is something about it when combined with the cookie mm. that kind of makes you feel like you're having s'mores, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's why it doesn't taste like marshmallow. Maybe in there is some kind of like flavouring that makes it kind of taste barbecued almost. Yeah, maybe, you know, like kind of char... Char-grilled, or... yeah. Mm. Mm. I feel like fudge stripes, which is the best cookie, mm. gets a lot of love. I think it's a very famous classic, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, by Keebler. Keebler. And isn't it the one with the elf on And We thought, yeah. these are for Christmas, but it's apparently always the elf. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think we've ever been that blown away by them. No. But I actually really like this. I prefer them in mini form and with this dip. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And it's nice that the dip mm. is not like full chocolate because most of the time the dip's usually chocolate, yeah. isn't it? Whereas it was nice the Betty Crocker one was like a confetti, do you remember? Yeah. And then confetti. the last one we had was a chocolate fudge, mm. which was really nice. That is really good. I really like I them. I like them. I think you're liking them more than me. I really like but them. But I think that is because it's quite like chocolatey. Yeah. Whereas I'm more like vanilla -y. I don't know. I like it, but I would probably only give that a seven. This is wild, but I'm going to give it a nine. Really? I really like that. <laughs> I really, really like that. I think I'm just more the ones with like the breadsticks, whereas because they're full and covered chocolate. I think that's probably like one that. of my favorite one of those. Really? Things had, yeah. Oh, even over the Betty Crocker ones. Well, you can be Team Chase and Peyton then. Ooh. We've got like three chocolatey things and two sweets. Do you want to like be separating them? Yeah, let's have the sweets. Should we go nerds? Mm. Because you're a nerd for nerds. I am a nerd for nerds. These are amazing. We've had the other flavor, which I don't know what that flavor was now. It was a red bag, pinky red bag. Yeah. I think it was just like berry, red. And what's this one? Berry, this is berry. very berry. Sweet and gummy inside, tangy and crunchy Are you sure outside. you're not just getting confused? It wasn't just these we have. 100% no. Also, can I tell you now, Kylie Jenner's a really big fan of these nerds. Really? She had the red bag and this, so I know they're So she's different. a nerd as well. And I was so jealous when I saw her story, and now we're getting to try them. Okay, oh very, God. very nerd clusters. Peyton's favorite candy are nerds, so we included the newest, which are the very, very clusters. We haven't had this flavor, but she loves the original clusters, so there are two. It just says original. Is it just original? I think it's just original. Uh. Oh! It's got all of the flavors. Where if you uh. look at these, it's only got it's berry, berry ones. Flavors. I think I'm gonna prefer these, mm. because that's the only thing with the other ones, is sometimes the flavors was all like, ooh, 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 ooh. And I think I said this last time, but I think it's a master stroke because putting like something chewy in the middle and then putting the little crunchy. tiny crunchy nerds on the outside is such it's a good idea. It's just what you want from something, a crunch, mm. a chew, a sweet. You bite it and you get chew and crunch at the same time. Mm. I love that sensation you get on your tongue. 
It's so tangy. Oh, and the kind of sweet tanginess. Mm. I always forget how tangy they are. Oh, these are phenomenal. These are, I love the other ones, but these are miles above. Mm. I would have these over nerds. I think sometimes it lacks like a, a sweet in the middle, a chew. Nerds, Definitely, you know yeah. what I mean? I used to like nerds when I was younger. Yeah, you did. But I think I would prefer them with the mm -hmm. chew. It just makes them better. Go nerds. I don't know how they've been doing in the last like 10, mm. 15 years, but I feel like they were so popular here. Yeah. And then they kind of just mellowed out. Yeah. And then they got more popular again because American candy became a bigger thing over here. But I think they've done so well creating a product that is literally what they're known for, but they've like gone the next level. Don't yeah. you think? We don't get these here. But hopefully one day we will, because they're That'd delicious. Be really cool. I'm going 10 out of 10. I'm going 10 out of 10 as well. Absolutely delicious. I love the very berry flavours. Amazing, yeah, the very berry is amazing. Right, sweets or chocolate? I think we do the Skittles gummies. Yeah, one, really. I like yeah. what you're thinking. Skittles gummies. These have been out maybe a year at this point and come in original and wild berry. What have we got? Original. Original. Ooh, wild berry. We really enjoyed the original and thought they tasted pretty close to normal Skittles, but did not like the wild ah. berry at all when we tried them. That's interesting. interesting. Do you remember when we tried Skittles uh, jelly beans the, yeah. other, the other month or week? Were they the ones we really liked? Or the we ones really we liked them, like? but do you remember I was like, I don't remember this, the red bean strawberry. Yeah. And I was like, Stacey Howe was the first one to send yeah. us Skittles jelly beans. Yeah. No, she sent us Skittles. A uh, Starburst jelly bean. Uh, Starburst. I just love my com Your confidence. My confidence yeah. and conviction. Stacy Hal sent us you those. You were committed, yeah. Yeah, no, they were and Skittles, and that's why it was strawberry and not cherry. <laughs> and because you were saying it with such confidence, I just thought you it just, must be yeah, true. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I love that they are doing these. Isn't it funny how we have Skittles in the UK and mm. you have Skittles in America? Skittles in America is doing like gummies and jelly beans. Yeah. And Skittles here in the UK are doing different things, but not the same as these. Oh really? What we, are they Instead doing? of Skittles gummy, we're doing Skittle clouds, normal and sour, oh, yeah, which we did them. just put in our British candy box. Yeah. We often put as many new items yeah. in as possible. So that's, that's another reason to subscribe. Yeah. Well, that's on the ultimate and the great boxes, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Constantly new things in there. So isn't it funny to see a different country's yeah. like version? It's really cool. Uh -huh. They're tiny. But and bigger so, than a skitter. So what are these? The strawberry or the cherry? In so the that's mix? strawberry. The green is green apple, but the purple is grape. Mm. Oh, I love the bite on these. That is... Mmm. A lovely, light chew, isn't it? Mm. How's the grape? Grape's nice. Not too overly pungent. Mmm. This is my weakness. <laughs> I like skittles. But I think I prefer these. For kryptonite. I, Sometimes they're too hard and chewy. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan really of sweets that are too crunchy and chewy. Yeah, you don't like that. I abstract. prefer these like jelly sweets. Mm. What are you giving them? I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. I think they're really good. They're not the best sweets we've had, but no. they're pretty up there. I'm also gonna give them a nine out of 10. That strawberry is like a 12 out of 10. The mm. strawberry's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. But the reason why I'm probably only giving them nine is lemon's not my favorite and also the grapes not my favorite here but it's still nice it's just do you know what i mean i know what you mean 10 out of 10 would be a black currant yeah. in there oh that'd oh, be nice but that, yeah. wouldn't that be nice, <laughs> that would be really, oh, wouldn't, that be nice? Oh, wouldn't that be nice okay we've got three chocky treats left what would you like al two m ms actually so oh, i think we save the m ms and we do the okay. dove we don't get dove here we have um galaxy galaxy these are brand new these are also new for this year. And again, not something we've tried yet, but they sound really good. Yes, they do. One of our favorite chocolate bars that I sadly can no longer find had caramel and waffle cone pieces in it. So is this flavor or has it got? I'm hoping it's got pieces. Yeah, me too. But what's the point of waffle cone flavor? Mm. Do the different colors mean anything? No, I don't think just... so. <laughs> I love that. Oh look, that's like a cone and waffle cone cookie crisps artificial flavour. Well, so. There are little bits in there. <gasps> what is this shape? Like It's almost like a little barrel or something. Yeah. Isn't it? Like who decided we're going to do little, little bits? I wondered what that was. So I, I was thinking back to when I like took a photo of like a bit of a quote on mm. something and it's these. Inside there's a little quote. Oh. Be happy, be you. I was thinking was it a tea bag and I remember being sent a tea bag. Wouldn't and it, it had a quote on oh, there. Yeah. Wouldn't it be ironic if mine was, keep your eyes open to things in life? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this says be, be happy, happy be you. So yeah. maybe it is just be happy be you. But I just thought that was sweet. What do you think about them? 
yeah, it's all right. Now, whenever I see things that say like ice cream cone, I just want it to be like the Muddy Bites. I want mm. it to be literally the corner of a cone with chocolate in. I don't want a chocolate with little bit pieces of cone in. I want the corner of the cone. Also, it's not my favorite chocolate. Mm. The chocolate's not very good. I like the waffle cone pieces. It says artificial flavor yeah. and I can taste it. It's almost like trying to be caramelly or something. Mm. I much prefer our Galaxy. Yeah, that, that's what's a throwing me off. Although it's got the same branding and everything, it doesn't taste like Galaxy at no. all. Because Galaxy is so rich. Rich and delicious, and creamy isn't it? and yeah. oh, it's just so royal. So royal. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed by those. They're okay though. Like the pieces are nice, but yeah. it's a bit too artificially flavored. It's like flavored. the fact that when we sniffed it, that, you that's, can smell why does that, that smell smells so like something. strong? Like a cone isn't that strong smell, no. is it? So I just yeah. put cone pieces in. Not a fan of those. No. I'll probably just go five out of ten, six I, out of ten. I'll go six. Yeah, six they're out good. of ten. They're good, but they're just not great. No. Mm. Like they're not very indulgent. Yeah. We have two MMs. We've got Cookie Crunch and Honey Graham. These also just came out recently and I prefer them over the Honey Graham. I heard that the cookies are made by the Keebler brand, but not sure if that's true or not. So anyone in the comments. Here say, Your Honor. And then Honey Graham M&Ms. These are new and taste good, but I think they should have figured out a way to include marshmallow. Not sure how you can have graham cracker and chocolate and not just make it a s'mores flavor. Maybe yeah, they just true. expect you to buy a bag of marshmallows and eat them together. Or maybe they just couldn't work out the marshmallow. So Can they thought- work out the logistics. Yeah. Maybe they'd have to be like twice the size. Yeah. Put an actual marshmallow in the middle. See, they're quite small, really, aren't they? I love the they? colours. I love the colours, too. That's what I love about M&M's in America, is when they do these limited editions, there's like three or four colours. It's like a colour palette. A lovely mustard yellow, a baby yellow, and a brown. There so what is then. this milk chocolate? Ooh. Grams. But... It says honey gram, mm. but it's a milk chocolate with crisp rice center. Why is the center not a honey gram? Yeah. It, the, it's flavored. They flavored crisp honey gram. Well, and they probably could have just put gram. honey gram in the middle. Surely. I do like them. I really like them. It's just, what's the point in doing honey gram? Like you could do little honey gram mm. ball, like a pretzel ball. I do love M&Ms that have like a crunch mm -hmm. and texture to them. I love that chocolate flavor. It's almost like a chocolate sauce. It is like a chocolate sauce. No, like you're pouring your ice cream. Yes. It reminds me of when you're younger and you go to a place where they have like an ice cream like machine Pizza and you can Hut. put your own Isn't yeah, it like toppings Pizza on. Hut. Pizza Hut, yeah. It's funny because at first I was like, is that a weird aftertaste? But mm. actually, it's I've grown to like it and it is like that growing up, mm. isn't it? I do like these. And also I know a lot of you guys don't just buy the one bag. You buy it and you mix with other flavors. So I feel like this would be a really good base flavor and you can mix it with like the, the peanut brownie. butter ones. Brownie. So do you know what I mean? I feel like it's a good solid, yeah. crispy. I like that. Of the M&Ms we've had, that's really up there for me. I, we've had crispy before and I feel like these just kind of top the crispy because it mm. just gives it a bit more. I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite M&M. It's not peanut butter M&Ms. No, caramel. And it's not brownie or caramel. Bowl. Honey grams, caramel, caramel, fudge brownie. Fudge. But they are up there. I'm going to say nine out of 10 on those. I'm going to say eight out of 10. I'm going nine. They're good. Crunchy cookie. I'm cookie so excited. Crunch. Pop your hand out. Oh, it's crunch. crunchy cookie. Not cookie crunch because they'll probably get in trouble oh, with that's that. That's a brand. Cookie Ooh, crunch. These are more of the traditional colors. Yeah, but don't these look really small? I feel like these limited edition ones are usually much bigger. Maybe they didn't need any more room for the crunchy cookie. Yeah, these really are like the originals. It's funny, I see like the minis more in these colors. Mm. You can tell what I <laughs> Yeah. Mm, I like it, sweet. A bit too sweet for me. I kind of prefer those. They've got that richer, more syrupy tasting chocolate, oh, honey. Which, which under normal circumstances I wouldn't like more, but for that I do like more. Have a mix of one and one. So that might be good, the fact that one's more chocolatey. That works well. Mixing lemon lemons does work. Mm. I still prefer the honey grams. I didn't expect to like them more, but I do. I prefer these. Those honey grams, the first time I have them again, weird taste, and then I have more and they're better. I prefer these um, crunchy cookies. That with the caramel would be delicious. That would be so mm. good, wouldn't it? What peanut. are you giving these out of 10? I'm gonna give them seven. I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. I still think, like you said, the caramel and the peanut butter mm. cups have been better, but they're still very, very delicious. Very delicious. I'm just gonna try one more of these, just check, but they are as nice as I thought they were. Just check you still like them. 
I can confirm. I can confirm I like that. <laughs> it is really sweet. But don't you think the consistency of that is like a melted marshmallow? It is, yeah. Mm. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I was already full with it. It was really hard to get. What I didn't um, expect was how much harder it is to shimmy with your arms up. <laughs> yeah. It's like a real lean back. I'm going to look weird doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, treat of the week. Okay, my treat of the week. Are you doing savory first or are you just doing one? I'm going to do savory in a sweet. I'm going to do these as my savory treat of the week. Really enjoyed these. Me too, well. Packed a punch of flavour. Yep, I'm agreeing with you there. They were absolutely amazing. And my sweet treat of the week, because you gave it to me, I almost <gasps> forgot oh it's my over God, here. I almost forgot about them. <laughs> I think I'm going that as well. I so want to do these as my treat mm. of the week. But because we have had these before, but in a different flavour, I think I might go that as well. Do you know what's funny? I was thinking, wait a second, did the Honeygram M&Ms my treat of the week? It was something I liked more than those. Really? And then I looked over there, I was like, it's these. I totally forgot about yeah. that. So good. <laughs> okay, these are so up there. I think I'm going to go the Reese's Big Cup and these. But yeah, these puffs were just simply divine. They're so good, aren't they? And I really enjoyed these Elote. Hmm. Flavor on these is fantastic. These are magical. Honorable mention to the Elote Cheetos. <laughs> Lindsay, Adam. Chase and Peyton. Thank you for such a wonderful box. Yeah, you guys have got great taste in snacks. You do. Really good taste You really, snacks. really do. I feel like we've had such a good array of sweet chocolates and crisps yeah. as well. So it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, guys. That is the end of Lindsay's box. If you missed out on the other videos, we'll leave a link up there. Thank you so much for such an incredible box. Yeah, and we don't know. Maybe in two and a half years, Lindsay might send <laughs> yeah, us another one. Yeah, exactly. It'd be yeah. very cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely delicious. We will be sending you guys a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way if you guys really enjoy this channel. If you buy one of our boxes, it helps to support the channel and also you get to try some awesome British goodies. You do. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.